Sound the alarm! Special announcement! <laughs> Special announcement! Everybody, oh don't panic! Don't panic! But I actually quite like the special announcements now. Like, because you always know that something something big or substantial is going to be announced. It's not just like, a little tweet. I like the announcements because I like the apprehension. It's a bit like waiting for someone to come out of the Royal Rumble. You're like, oh, oh, oh what's he going to say next? Yeah, yeah. But, but... Uh, sometimes, like, the last couple have been a bit like whatever. This one was peng. This one was, yeah, my penis is hanging. Let's go through the... Hang in, hang in. But yeah, it's a lot better than a fucking Instagram post. Jesus. Yeah, I enjoyed it, man. I, I Well, enjoyed it. I mean, it was Dana shouting at the camera, but it was cool. The announcements itself was good. A couple of ones immediately catch my eye. Didn't expect to see Tony Ferguson fighting so soon. We'll say that. But the Bobby Green <laughs> matchup is probably kind to him at this stage. That's probably one of the ones you could do. Moving on. Uh... I would Costa rather than Velis- give him a grappler, to be honest, but I don't know, take less yeah. head trauma, because Bobby Green gets, he can, he, he can yeah, bang, he you know what I mean? Lands, yeah, it's, he can, but he it's... can bang, and Tony's reflexes and whatnot aren't what they... Yeah, well, I mean, <sighs> obviously a bit soon after the um, skr, skr. incident. <laughs> Costa versus Aliskerov, your thoughts. Ikram, I believe his name is. Costa versus I don't it's uh I don't know I don't even know how to feel about that well that matchup I feel probably, like I don't know you it's should probably, you should probably feel like it means Hamza versus Kamari is happening if Costa's not fighting Hamza yeah but I don't know I always want to it's not a it's not a fun yeah I, I mean because Costa's fights always have the entertainment factor to it and like like yeah Costa's fights always have the entertainment factor to it you know what I mean. There's yeah. banter, there's build up, there's memes, there's there's a whole shebang. But I feel yeah. like with this matchup, it's not gonna have that sort of element, which is what kind of makes a Costa fight fun True. and great nowadays, you know what I mean? Like the I, whole Vittori I thing, I came in overweight, yeah. but that's your fault. That like yeah. I mean <laughs> Yeah. Luke, you're an old man. Yeah, no, listen, and I get that, but I do think that like there's probably a connection there like this guy ikram was the guy that hamza had a really tough fight with yep. and it's like oh, the rematch will happen that's one that gave him Cost- the brutal uppercut knockout yeah yeah and then maybe cost is gonna be like oh i mistook him for hamza or maybe he's gonna be like i'll fight this guy you know there's there's, there's ways to have banter here but wait is this guy the guy that just made his de- debut like a couple weeks ago yeah he's yeah. fighting cost yeah. now already shit In Newark, yeah he called out bo nickel and they gave him paul Costa, paul acosta what rank is Costa now in middleweight? I think he might be five. He is five. Wow. I guess I guess this is the closest that we'll come to a Costa and Hamzat fight. Since Hamzat's well, wrestling I, and Ikram's out. Yeah, but I thought they were going to do that in October, which makes me think they must be doing the Kamaru fight, because otherwise what are you going to do with Hamzat? So. What's well, so a Kamaru fight at 170? Unless Kamara is like, fuck it, I'll just take one at 185. But unless Hamzat says he can get down to 170 by from now to October, you never know. Because, yeah, even uh, Jeff was in Thailand a few months ago. And let's say Thailand is the new Russia because of the war. He said he ran into, where he like, you know, walked past Hamzat a few times and he was looking not 170. Yeah, I mean, even if you look at his social, he looks not 170. He looks like a large man. But yeah, so that's, but I'm intrigued by that fight. I mean, if that guy beats Paulo, what a fucking like up the rankings he's going to get. Yeah. And then we have Alex versus Jan. Okay. I'll ask you this one because I feel feel like people don't really track these things uh, when it comes to like a a few weeks post fight. What's the whole suspension thing when it comes to getting KO'd out cold? And let's say they announce that you're off for six months. What does a fighter have to do to. I Cut believe the what they, have to, they have to go to have a medical and if that medical doctor says no you're you're okay like you don't have any symptoms resulting from that knockout. so pretty much the doctor has to say that your concussion which is the immediate effect is over yeah yeah but i think i'm pretty sure you basically you have to get cleared you have to get cleared yeah so i think so I mean, what april may 
so it was April 8th, May, June, July, but it's end of July, so what, three and a half months? You're looking at four months, I'd say. Let's give it four months. Four months? Yeah, three and a half. Yeah. It's, it's quick. It's a quick turnaround for someone who just got knocked out. Polish power. Yeah, I mean, that is essentially a fight of two left hooks, which will be pretty entertaining. I think that's a fucking sick fight. I love the fight, but... Sick fight. I feel like, I don't know, I thought that they would give him, because he did make the post of um, Johnny Walker. Walker. Yeah, you know what I mean? I thought that they would give him like a pure, a pure I, striker. But I, I and not someone me. that has, I mean, Jan put on his striking defense in the Izzy fight, and that was on full display. Because that whole yeah. build-up, we thought that Jan was just going to come barraging in, like, you know, and he made mistakes in the past and got finished, or, you know, have the whole forward movement the whole forward movement, but we saw the cerebral calculated yard and the whole, like his striking defense, the way he was doing everything was just so on point. I feel like it would, was, I, I, I don't know. They're not giving Pereira an easy, an well, easy but pass. Then if, you look, if you look at Dana White's post-fight press conference comments after Johnny Walker, he's like, oh, Johnny Walker didn't really wow anybody. So maybe they were looking at that fight and then they kind of walked away with like Johnny Walker, or, you know, he could have done more. So let's give it to Blaukovic instead. But if Johnny didn't wow he's... anyone, the potential of Alex to wow in the performance yeah, but... versus Johnny, I mean. Yeah, but I think. What's your immediate vision of how the fight plays out? I don't know. It's a good, that's, I think. I think because of the knockout being so recent, I'd probably lean towards Jan. If like Alex had taken eight months off, I'd lean towards Alex probably, you know? But then again, having said that, as he showed against Israel, Jan does wrestle if he needs to. So I could also see a world where like Alex just gets kind of brutally exposed in some weird way or something. But I'm also intrigued, like it's funny because the move up to 205, everyone's like, oh, Alex is going to do that. But if it's been like three months, he hasn't exactly put on a lot of size, has he? He's just going to be the same size without much of the weight. I though. feel like he's so big and he sucks down so much that once the fight is over, his body just, just fills back up to like his walk around yeah. weight. Like he's, yeah, because yeah. yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't <laughs> need to have a bulk up period to go back up to 205 because he just walks around at 230, 235 anyway. One thing that that is interesting to me is it's in Salt Lake, which is at ev- elevation. How Remember many how like ten thousand? Right. No, let's have a look. Four and a what, half? Utah elevation six thousand one hundred feet. Yeah, that's basically what I said. You said four thousand. What was Mexico City? Because that one always sticks in my mind. It's like ten thousand. No, it's not. It's like seven thousand. It's seven thousand. Baby, seven thousand three hundred feet. Fucking what about it, cunt? Um, yeah, Geography. so. <laughs> It's only because I was having a talk about elevation the other day. Uh, but then that makes me, that oh, makes me no, curious. Yeah, pardon. Yeah. I was that like, what, who are we talking about elevation with? Well, fucking fights, because I'm going to Salt Lake. I just come from Denver, blah, blah, blah. But I'm curious to see like how that will affect some some of the people, right? Like, you know, I think I can see Paulo. Hamza, I mean, I mean, not no, Hamza, Paulo, yes, Paulo. Yeah, we uh, saw sure it affect Paulo. I think Tony should be fine. Yeah, I think... Kevin Holland and Chiesa, like that could, like that, they're both pretty good actually. But That's I think a like the kid. card. Because, yeah, we're going yeah, through this yeah. period now, like this weekend fight card. Oh, Derek on. Lewis. Derek Lewis on the prelims. The elevation might affect him. Is Derek on the prelims? Yeah. Well, was that announced prior? No, it was announced just then. Well, I didn't hear that part. Who's he fighting? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Let me have a look. But I'm sure he said uh, elevation. Uh, I'm sure he said Derek Lewis because it's on ABC. I don't know. Derek Lewis and Wonderboy on the prelims as well. I didn't even That's see right. that. I didn't Wonder... hear Wonderboy. Yeah, yeah, Wonderboy. I love well, how we Wonder flew Boy's on fighting here. Let's do, a react... Let's do a reaction in which you actually don't even know. No, no, I mean, we got too hyped over the main card announcement there. I don't know. I didn't really hear the little bits at the end. Because, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway. Um, what's the, what's the co main Wait. announced? Um... I mean, Alex versus thingy, but what about fucking... Uh, BMF. What, the BMF. I mean, that's the one we got to talk about, right? That's... Five rounds. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's a banger. Stephen Thompson versus Michelle Piera. Derek Lewis versus Marcos Rogerio de Lima. There you go. Michelle Piera versus Wonderboy is a good fight. Yeah. So is this BMF but, also the number one contender slot? Probably. I think if... 
You oh that fuck it's gonna get started getting messy, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah, because then you got Benil and Alex and you know, then you got a third guy. All right, and then Falk wants to rematch. End of the year. I mean, I Although feel I'm like the timeline of all these things happening with Benil and Oliveira fighting, and then um, Poirier and Justin fighting in July as well. Months mm. out of October could screw yeah. up the super fight rematch. Maybe. Or. Because Islam's depending. not beaten either Poirier or Gaethje. Yeah. Even, even though Khabib has. Yeah. Well, or alternately, you do Benil versus Islam for the world title in October. Should Benil beat Charles? And then just do Connor versus the fucking BMF guy. I bet Connor would love him to answer him. July, BMF. August, September, October. That's a bit too fast of a turnaround. But I mean, like, if Benil doesn't put on a performance, mm. I feel like, I don't know. But then again, a five-round war between Poirier and Gagey. I doubt they have a fast turnaround. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel I, like there's so I, many I think, points for people to outshine, to well, outshine as well, if he doesn't perform. Also, as well, I could I could probably bet money that Dustin and Justin aren't going back to Abu Dhabi. They fucking I don't think they enjoyed their time there. Why would happen? You know. Well, when Dustin fought there, there was like you know it's still COVID and there was race cars every day like fucking up their sleep schedule. Yeah, and when Justin that was went, fucked. It, yeah, it was fucking bullshit. So uh, I don't I, if I remember right, I don't think they enjoyed it. So. I could see them being like, fuck that, like, let Benil fight, and, you know, so we'll see. I think Volk, you know, it's also like, depends what Islam wants, what Alex wants. Like you said, it depends on who can pull out what. Five round of bloodbath, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I mean, the first fight was, I actually watched it not long ago, it's a fucking quality fight, epic. I'm excited for that fight. Who do you think wins? Who do I think, I mean... <sighs> I don't know. It's going to be close. I mean, those, yeah, mm -hmm. well, well-rounded, evenly matched. But remember, since then, Justin has become his more like... The patient Gaethje. Yeah, yeah, the patient Gaethje. So I remember the first fight was actually giving him loads of success was just like reckless leg kicks like he used to throw. He doesn't, kind of doesn't throw him as much anymore. So I wonder if that will hurt him or help him. Against, yeah, but Dustin's like, not lost a step either. And he's just gained more confidence. He's right. more, more big fights. I don't know. Somehow, like, they're still in their primes. I just one of those. It could go either way. It could go yeah, either way. Maybe fight. elevation could have a play in it, depending on who yeah. wants to push the grappling or push the pace or whatnot. But yeah, it well, could go either Justin, way. Justin, Justin trains in Denver, so the elevation is true. Right this is true. So what? Anyone but that wants it. to fight on this card should. I just, I just bet. Anyone Why that wants to fight you? on this card should what? Do the whole camp in, in Utah? Oh, I mean. I don't know. I'm not a professional athlete. I don't know how much it affects people. But you were just talking about elevation the, the other day, weren't you? What did I do at elevation one time? I think I walked up a hill or something. Well, no, not a hill, but you know, I went. I've never. I'm, I've never. You had a fight. We get it. You had a fight at sea level. No, 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 no. no, 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 no I wasn't. No, we, we, we get it. We get it. Oh, wait, that, that was at sea level. Um, <laughs> but no, yeah. I think like it, they always say, right? Would you want to leave off the chance? Do you think it's cool that they're bringing the BMF belt back? For that fight, I would say yes, because it's that fight. I mean, it's I cool. Mean, it's another when they, when they announced, Yeah, when they announced it, I was like, oh, clever. Nice little, like, shoehorn it back in, I guess. because I like how they were like, because Masvidal's retired, not the the title's not going to any of the last guys who just beat him. Yeah. Like, you know, the, the fucking three lads who beat him. We're just going to give it to these two. I thought that was quite funny. I mean, a BMF fight, I don't know. It, just, it has to be the... This is a qualifying fight. I agree. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, talking about it, like, who else do you think could be in a qualifying BMF fight? There's about... There's about a it's, it's a short list. Yeah, I think, I think when the first thing came together, there's probably about, like, 10 names. I yeah. think most of them are lightweights. Like, you'd probably say Dustin, Justin, Connor, Chandler, Fazeev. Hooker, like all those guys would be BMS, you know, like those same sort of guys who Nate Diaz, Kevin Holland probably would get one now, you know, like those guys, the guys who would fight. Anyone uh, some anytime. of those I think are here, but yeah, uh, I see where you're going at. I, I see where you're going at. Yeah, but you get what I mean, like those guys who are just like, 
yeah. about it. Yeah. Dustin, Justin, me. Oscar Willis, um, Fizzier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All those guys. All those guys. All those guys. But, uh, but no, I think, I, to be honest, and like, they did it. Do you know what I mean? They made, I'll tell you what's going to be funny now is Nate's reaction to this. Because he yeah, made the belt. True, true. Like, especially for Dustin, who I don't think he loves that much. So, true. What a uh, card, though. That's a fucking stack card. Yeah, and it's coming in a few though. months. It's not like a November. It's not an October. It's not in... But yeah, I'm fucking stacked. My, uh, I mean, yeah. So I'm flying from London to Vegas, and then I'll drive to Salt Lake City. What's in London? The University. Fuck, your schedule sucks, man. Yeah. <laughs> this schedule fucking sucks because I, I, if I'm on the, on the road for like three weeks, I'm like, I want to go home and not go any, anywhere for a couple of months. But then you're like, oh, next weekend, I'm, I'm out. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, the last uh, the last few weeks, I've been like, oh my god, like it's I did like Kansas City, then Denver, then fucking Newark, then Charlotte. How then much I'm touristy here, stuff did you do? Where? Just whenever you go places, it's, it's touristy I don't stuff. Get it. I think I used to try and do some touristy stuff, but now it's like I just do my work and fucking sleep because I'll be tired from like so no, many times. Do you zone. reckon that you drink yourself into oblivion and <laughs> well, fucking I sleep? sleep. And I, I do my work and I, and I sleep. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's I a, sleep that's after. why I've fucking heard all day. I've been up for about two hours. And then the right. other big announcement, Mr. Fumble the Bag. Uh, oh, I thought you were going to talk about Sean O'Malley and LJ. Oh, yeah, that's right. I mean, oh, yeah, so fast turnaround. Um, yeah, I mean, he was, I saw him on Saturday drinking a very flavorful pineapple juice, and he said that it would require some convincing to turn around, so I'm wondering what convincing they did, if any. They would have to pay him. Well, they, you would assume so. I, I mean, would, or maybe they, they might have done the old classic, just fucking announce it. Yeah, oh, I, I mean, I mean that that is their their favorite. <laughs> but, so, I mean, I like Aljo's at home it. eating pizza. Oh, I can't wait for the announcement. Eating pizza. Oh, August, <laughs> August. Yeah. I mean, that is that is but, that is but, the, the, their go-to playbook. But you know, like, but it's the fight that makes sense. It's the fight that's obviously going to happen. Let's just get it done. You know, it's a good fight. Probably, Man, so what? July, August. See, it's coming back now. We had a great first quarter. Like, this was the best first, I guess, four months, because the first, yeah, four months, this is, was the yeah. great first one-third of the year that, that we've seen card booking-wise. And also, we had great fight nights in between there. It was like, yeah, but now we just have to, have to just grind through these next few weeks and whatnot and suffer, and then suffer, suffer through that, and then we'll be back. But back to, back to the hero of the MMA world, oh. the one that we do not deserve weight of the world on her shoulders they called her mr fumbled the bag but hey the last la i fucked up the whole intro francis i think we worked out who you were discussing <laughs> no I'm, a, I'm happy for him you know what i mean i, I mean I'm, this is kind of how i like i feel about it i think everyone's gonna just think i'm a massive dick for thinking this way what obviously i'm happy for francis to get paid oh, especially you are about to say some fucked up shit right now aren't you say no, it no, no, no. say it like i'm i'm very happy i will for come to get through paid. that screen and fucking strangle you if you say some dumb but shit. but also i value my enjoyment as as much as anything else so it's like oh i don't get to watch him fight the people in the ufc that's kind of lame but i understand why he did it and i'm happy for him to make that choice but i'm kind of like oh on a personal level, I'd like to have seen some matchups that, that were still there. Because I was looking at like the people he could fight now. Like realistically, we're we talking Frank Mir, Fabrice Overdoom, Junior DeSantos rematch, Roy, Roy Nelson just came out. Like these are not like oh, these are good names. I mean they're names. Yeah, they're names. I mean Francis could saying. fight every every week, you know what I mean? Like Not if they're fucking paying his opponents two million quid. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know. I know, but regardless, Which, by the way, I admire that. But then I like I look forward to the day they're like Roy Nelson, <laughs> two million. For, you know, I bet that's gonna be. Wait, who though. who owns PFL? Uh, I don't know. I can, but they're break. backed by ESPN. Or the, I, I know they, they they have like a a bit of a, a bit yeah, of a, yeah, they have, a war chest. Yeah, they have a deal. They have a deal with ESPN, and they, I think they're they I think they're trying to spend to like 
push themselves up the rankings. And I think if you were to look at them as a, a promotion compared to like Bellator over the last five, three, five years, you would say that PFL has done more to like try and claim more of the market than and Bellator. Isn't Bellator up, up for sale? No, that's a rumor. No confirmation. Oh, really? Either. Yeah. Hmm. I think some random Twitter Twitter thing just. But what up. you said, how about you know you were saying you value your enjoyment, your enjoyment and all that, and this, that, and the third. Yeah. Fighters, very selfish. Fighters are opposite way. They got to bills need to be paid. For sure, the for sure, completely paid. I'm glad for. I think also a lot of like what happens with Francis as well, because obviously he's not going to fight until 2024. He's, so... he's got a boxing match. He hasn't got it yet, but that's the thing. It's like who he boxes will, I think determine how successful this whole thing was like if he gets a fury or joshua fight fucking nailed it you know yeah so i th- and it's funny because it's like all those guys are supposedly like there's rumors that they're in talks to fight in december and they're all gonna want to fight uh, fatal four-way not fatal four-way yeah, yeah 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 yeah. that's the the rumor is they want to fight all in saudi the same night basic <laughs> fury but it, was, it was an actual fatal four-way and they all fought in the ring at the same time fighting each other like wwe probably pick wilder um but i think like if uh if they do that they're all going to want to fight in the meantime and i think if you were looking at fights for them you'd be like okay well francis like we can obviously beat him he's not a boxer but he's a big name so that would make sense if i was like wilder joshua or fury i'd be like well, fuck it we'll just do the ingani fight to win yeah big money but it's a win all the way around because he still gets paid win or lose but he yeah. can't go and fight yeah, but... someone subpar and lose to someone subpar if he loses yeah, like, if he goes and boxer, Derek it's fine. Chisora, yeah, if he goes and boxes Derek Chisora, who's a British heavyweight who's past his prime, it's not going to look good, is it? It's going to look like, oh, yeah, MMA guys can't box. So I think it's just interesting to see his next move. I'd like to see him out sooner rather than later, though. <clears throat> you know? I don't want to, like, it'd be better if he fought, like, August. Yeah, definitely, I agree. Yeah. I agree, but, yeah, what a day, what an announcement. I love the announcement. Happy for, happy for Francis. Had the whole world laughing at him. Oh, my God, I fucking hate the comments, man. But I fucking, oh, I just, I'm at this yeah. stage now. It's like weird. I don't even, yeah. You're zen. You're zen. You don't care about it. It's all waters off a duck back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, what else? But it's yeah. like, oh, I don't care about anything to wrap my hair. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Outro. All right. Bye, folks. Later, I have to get <laughs>